back to the series. Congratulations. So you decided you want to learn how to crochet. In this next episode, we are going to go over a foundation chain. So grab your yarn and your hook and let's get started. Hi guys, congratulations. So you want to learn how to crochet. On episode number one, we discussed um, types of yarn weights. We discussed on episode number two, types of hooks. We discussed on episode number three, we discussed the correlation between what projects you want to do and what options you have for yarn and recommendations as to what you should use depending on where you live. Um, as promised, the next episode was going to be a foundation chain. Most crochet projects start with a foundation chains. There is a couple other options of starting projects, but as you get a uh, better season with the craft, we will talk about um, magic circles and other uh, ways of starting a foundation chain. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Every foundation chain or most foundation chains starts with a slip knot. A slip knot basically is just you're doing your basic knot. This is the way I do it. This is a slip knot. Okay? You put your hook in here and you can tighten it by pulling on the tail of the yarn. Once again, let's try that again. I'm trying to keep my hands in camera and as close as possible so that you can see it. Just do like you're doing a regular knot, but instead of pulling the yarn through, you're just going to hold on to both tails and just pull on the little circle until it's tight. Put your hook in there and then pull in the tail. You can tighten that up. Okay? So, let's get started with what a foundation chain is. A foundation chain basically is just the base of your project where everything grows from. And many times the foundation chain will call depending, let's say, you're doing the scarf, your foundation chain may be a foundation chain of 20. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what a foundation, how you do a foundation chain. Once you have your slip knot on your hook, you're basically going to grab some yarn and feed it through that loop. Oops. Sorry, guys. Now understand that um, the fact that you don't have too much work on your on your yarn or on your hook is sometimes a little hard to hold on to. So don't be discouraged if it keeps slipping out or just uh, keep working on it. So once again, wrap your hook around the yarn, pull through the loop. Once again, do the same thing, wrap your yarn, pull through. Once again, wrap the yarn, pull through. Once again, wrap the yarn, pull through. Wrap the yarn, pull through. Wrap the yarn, and pull through. So this is your foundation chain. This continues to grow and from this foundation chain you'll begin to work other stitches that will grow your project. Whether you're doing a scarf, whether you're doing a blanket, whether you're doing a beanie, um, it calls for always a some form of foundation. Um, this is one of the foundations called a foundation chain. Continue to practice. Just grab the yarn that you bought, the hook that you bought that matched the yarn, and just practice. I am not going to show you how to hold your hook, and the reason why is because I find that to be very personal. 
There are many people who hold it like a knife. I hold it like a pencil. Um, uh, some people have a specific way of holding the yarn in their hand. Uh, some people are lefty, some people are righties. I'm a righty and there's really not much I can do with my left hand. I'm very, my left hand doesn't work for much. Uh, so I don't want to show you exactly how to hold the hook. I want you to play with the hook and I want you to play with the yarn until you find a comfortable way of holding the hook and accomplishing what you're trying to do, which is basically wrapping your hook around the yarn, pulling the yarn through the loop, pulling it a little bit so you can give yourself some space, and then again, try not to do it so tight so that you have room to, to move your yarn. See, this is how I use my finger to kind of manage the tension and to also to feed the yarn. Okay, once again, let's do it some more. Wrap your yarn around the hook, pull it through the loop. Yarn around the hook, pull it through the loop. Yarn around the loop, around the hooks, sorry, pull it through the loop. And you continue to do that. Your work continues to grow, you see? So I want you to keep practicing that. Keep practicing that. As I mentioned, this is a, uh, for beginners, this is what I'm using as yarn is a number four weight and I'm using an H hook. This is, whoops, it's right there, you can see it. It's a five H hook. So the five is right here, the H is right here. There's another little number that correlates back to the letters, but do not pay any attention to that. Always use either the letter or the millimeters. This one's 5.0. So once again, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope this was very helpful. Um, on our next episode, we are going to discuss how to do a single crochet. So hang in there, guys. Keep using your hook. Keep using your yarn. And keep, keep practicing that foundation chain. I will see you in my next episode. And once again, congratulations. You just started to learn a craft that will last for years to come and it'll be very fulfilling. So congratulations guys, I'll see you in my next episode. Bye.